talk about robots for years. Movies and television shows uh, and books have been getting us ready to live with robots. Now, it's very possible thanks to this guy, DJ Shures, in a local Calgary company. DJ, uh, one of the good minds behind Easy Robot. Uh, very cool stuff. It was about a year ago. It was. You, you nice to see you again. Yeah, good to see you again. Oh, I'm trying to shake your hand. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Cheers. Um, it, it was about a year ago we met uh, your kit to build a Wally style robot, you That's know, right. from the movies. That's right. Uh, you guys have branched out. Tell us what's new. So we started off with allowing people to build robots out of old toys that they had. Yeah. Right? And then we we're going towards something called unification. Okay. Which means that we're trying to combine hardware, software, and a modular platform. Okay. And we looked at what Lego is doing and figured yeah. that's what consumers want. So we created parts which are actually clippable components that clip together. So just to like build a Lego robots. brick goes into another brick. That's right. That type of thing, right? Exactly. Here. Yeah. And I'm going to walk around here and break the rules a little bit. Oh, breaking and the I'm rules. And I'm going to show you what our software looks like. We're going to get this guy up and running. So if you can so see on the screen... We're going to get this guy walking here, right? That's, right? that's what you're saying? Okay. Okay, so on the screen right away it shows me and says, this has been put together using our parts, Yeah. and we can say, yes, we want to see the assembly, and it walks through oh, each cool. step of the way to see how to put it together. And, and this is that Lego style of construction you were talking about, right? That's right. Okay. So the next step is, of course, is to control your robot. Yeah, you want to play with it. There you go. Oh. So we had this guy set up with a Wii controller. This is just a gener generic Wii controller. Okay. And when I hit forward, for example, we have him set up to walk forward <laughs> and Look backwards. And this is kind of neat. When he turns, it's actually a lot of fun. He does this really oh, cool thing. neat. Turn. Yeah. You could really freak out your family dog with this. That's, thing, right? that's yeah. right. We have different modes, too. You can go to sleep. And then we have an attack mode where you can... <laughs> Jump leap forward. That's <laughs> like, so, like a tarantula that's or something, right. We've right? got to give you to give it a shot. Very so good. last year you drove the other robot I around. I did. Yeah. So there, that's moving in that direction. That's right. I think I vaguely remember how to do this. How do I make it spin, though, like you turned so it? So turn just to the right. To one direction. There okay. you go. Oh, I see. And it just kind of... Oh, yeah. So the right. controller is a little bit... Oh, there, there you go. Oh, she's going to attack something. <laughs> Very cool. Exactly. Okay, so what we have going on right now, DJ, mm -hmm. beside, in front of me here, is this. now this is a 3 3D printer. That's right. Our gadget guy, Mike Yanni, has been talking about these for a while now. These are very cool. What does this yeah. do for your robots? So we know that a lot of people have 3D printers. It's yeah. becoming really popular these days. So rather than people purchasing these parts from our website or from our kits, they can actually, from the software, print it right in their home. So, this, so the specs are on the software. That's it right. tells the printer what to do to That's make right. it actually happen. Yeah, so if you imagine when you're working at your office and you have a print button to print a document, you can now <laughs> say print and have one of these. And you get so, one of these guys. Yeah, one of, <laughs> that's cool. That's right. So we're actually printing right now while this is live. We're printing a bracket and one of these pieces here. Nice. That's right. Yeah. Nice. So this works well for educational systems because yeah. educational systems can design their own components, submit them to our website, yeah. and share them to the entire world. Cool. So people can design their robot, put it all together in the 3D software. So I can call the robot Ted, That's and right. then other people could use the Ted design to make their own Ted. That's right. right? And okay. because it's 3D, you yeah. can design it and then put all the parts together, and that 3D design is shared to other people. Wow. So anywhere around the world, they can actually see that 3D design in the right assembly on. process. Uh, yeah. Quickly, you touched on education. Uh, you mentioned this during the commercial break when Andy was doing weather. Really quick, because we only have about 30 seconds. Um, tell us about the programs that you're possibly going to get going with schools here. That's right. So we opened up a retail location. So yeah. our retail location is... Uh, in Inglewood, it's 1212 uh, 9th Avenue Southeast. Sure. And we have a walk-in. You can come in, see what we're working on, see the robots working on. We're bringing in this summer and this uh, winter for the school season schools to come through right and on. learn about robotics and find out where robots are going. Cool. Excellent. And a website real quick to check www.easy robot.com. E, the letter E, Z, robot.com. Right? That's right. Cool. Good to see you again. You too. Fun stuff. Come yes. back in another year All right. with we'll new gadgets to show. <laughs>